Hello. hello. Oh, <laughs> hello. That was hello. perfect. Hello. Yeah. yeah, we both timed it. Woohoo. Hello. Our, we got our hellos together that time. <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome to Credits and Continues with me, Slippy, and. Foxy. Foxy, yeah. <laughs> Cannon Spike is a good game. I agree. Cannon Spike is it a good game? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm thinking Cannon Fodder. I don't know. I, I think Cannon Spike. Okay. That's the Jaguar game, isn't it? No, Cannon Spike is the Dreamcast game. That's all Capcom characters like oh, Tammy and yeah. Kyle and Flash oh, that, Kickers. Oh, that game is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking the wrong game altogether. Yeah. But, a lot of canon games out there there are there are welcome in hey gracie and sonic and tj and grave and cosmic and and knocker does have it does have mega man in it yeah. hey knocker we're gonna be playing your game later tonight yeah yeah do you want to play the game tonight yeah yeah we're gonna be playing your game yeah yeah, yeah the just... misadventures <laughs> of flink we're gonna be talking about yeah. from from psychosis or psychosis or something to that effect it was you guys can play it wow okay <laughs> happy birthday to a mr foxy man it was his birthday oh, yesterday it, it was my birthday yesterday thank you thank you yeah yes i had yeah. a good time with all you guys we had a breakfast stream like normal and mm-hmm. yeah get to yeah. share some memories and a really old ass music video and yeah it was one time yeah that it was it was really fun what'd you do with the rest of your day <laughs> um i went out for pizza root beer and then ice well no yeah once i was out and about with the family got home late and slept <laughs> nice. old man stuff Woo-hoo! that's right it's that's what it's like being a man you just yeah. go to sleep a lot you're like i'm i'm always tired yeah you know it, well, normally I catch up after a breakfast stream. That's that's my usual mm-hmm. time to catch up on sleep mm. that I've lost throughout the week. So <laughs> I did. It, it, it worked out just fine. Nice, nice. That sounds like a really good day. Yeah. How how was your day yesterday? It was nice yesterday and today. Both nice. We watched a movie last night called uh, Twin Sitters with the I don't know if you know the Barbarian Brothers, uh, Paul Not- and something or other they're these two huge bodybuilders guys and um they were in a movie called barbarian uh uh, together and and they had this really bad 90s like 94 uh comedy called twin sitters where they're twins and they're babysitting twins oh yeah 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 i'd never heard of it yeah it was pretty great it was it was pretty good. Um, we had a lot of fun, me and my, my buddies. We watched that. We hung out. Um, pretty good though. And then today, right before we started today, Gracie and I were playing some some hero clicks. That Ooh, was fun. Hero clicks. I've yeah. heard of that in a long time. Yeah, Gracie and I like that. We we enjoy our hero clicks. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. What about all of you out there? What uh? What have you guys been doing in in our get up to this week here for credits and continues? What what have you guys been playing? What have you been doing with yourselves? What's been excuse me going on? You played a sealed game today. Yeah, I I, I beat Gracie today, but she beat me the other day, so it's okay. You guys are even, or wait, yeah. I don't I don't know I Some, don't know the final score somewhere in there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Knocker beats some Metal Gear Solid One. That's a great game. Yeah, um, he hesitated to play it at first, and then he went mm-hmm. at it and was really into it. So it's, nice. It's, it's, now, did playing. they? Um, does it have the little tricks when it's being emulated that it had on a normal system, like the when you're fighting Psycho Mantis? Is he reading your memory card to I, you, Knocker? I, I'm pretty sure he still does, doesn't he? I don't. Um. I, I don't know if 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 their memory cards are individualized or yeah he was reading your memory cards to you and and uh, and and you had to switch over your controller to controller two and and flip it over is that something you still do? 
I see you have been playing Nippon strip poker or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, oh no, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you share memory. Oh. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Nice. How did you get around, or even know to get around the part where you're supposed to contact Meryl, and the only way to know her codex link is to look on the back of the package because he tells you in the game you got to look at the back of the box. Oh, did, did you physically have the game, or did you, like, know that you were supposed to look it up online? Oh, okay. Okay. That's cool. I think I think that's the only reason I own a copy of the game, is... is uh, I don't own a copy of that game. Yeah. I have the Game Boy Color game, which mm. it's kind of hard to find nowadays, but eh, well, it's nowhere near as good from all I that I've seen. I didn't know Game there Boy. was a Game Boy Color Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah, I picked it up on a vacation one time. It has like a little rumble and thing. And I was I was mad because I got home. And I thought, oh, I can play it on my Super Game Boy. And it says this game is not compatible with this system. And I'm like, what? It oh, was really? the first game. It was the first game I had that I couldn't play on the Super Game Boy. Really? Yeah. Huh. Completely bummed. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. You have it on I, uh... GOG. I think I might be having a problem here. Minesweeper. Let me check this out. There we go. Okay. I was having a problem where my my mister wasn't recognizing on my computer, but it it works now. Hopefully now. Oh. Oh, where he says something specific about them? Because I remember he would just talk about what games you played, whatever you had on your card. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was just whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry, everyone. Yeah, that was a huge. I, I really liked that game a lot when it was around. Oh, hey, um, that, that part alone is pretty amazing. Yeah. We were uh, talking about that game last night, even, and two and three and four and five. There's some great movies. Turns into some pretty good movies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I already forgot the name. What what's the name of the hack and slash? The Raiden. Or Raiden. Yeah. Yeah. That I don't know that it had a specific name, but yeah, Raiden. Yeah. I forgot what the hack and slash was named. Oh no. Oh, interesting. Oh, Revengeance. There Revengeance. you go. Yeah. I think it was Revengeance. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or no, maybe it was was no, it was it was Revengeance. That's what yeah, it was. It was Revengeance. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was so fun. And then that was my first game I used as a prototype for playing my uh, on my Vita. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. When I I downloaded a, a modded uh, or a kind of like a modded emulator for Steam, mm. and I was able to play my Steam library, and I I booted that game up because I nice. knew that. It, could be a little little heavy and it worked just fine yeah. on the Vita. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. What else we got? Uh Cosmic started playing some Hades today. TJ oh, nice. hit the Zelda and Call of Duty like you and Minesweeper. How, and, how are you uh, liking Hades there, Cosmic? I, yeah. I keep I've always watched people play and I like I don't mind rogue like games, but I don't know. People are really excited for Hades too. Yeah, I know a lot of people love Hades. Yeah, I'd be more excited for Silk Song if we ever got it. And what is that? It's the sequel to Hollow Knight. Oh. But the the funny part is they they have daily updates, and now their updates have far succeeded or far beyond how many. Um, I mean, there are more updates to that game than there are One Piece episodes now. <laughs> <laughs> <They've> been... <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've been trying. Clearly trying, though. Oh, God. Oh, it's wow. Been, it's way too long. <laughs> and Sonic has been going through Final Fantasy X. That's a good one with Sin. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Well, very yeah. cool. Very cool. Well, let's head on over to the Challengers Arena now that we know what everyone's been up to for the week. And we see definitely what's... know what they... What they haven't been up to. Let's go yeah. to the Challenger yeah, Arena. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> so what we know is 
what people have not been up to, and that is playing <laughs> Diet Go Go because we only had about three or four responses to that game. Uh, the the last entry was mine last Sunday. So yeah, yeah, yeah we had. I don't. I don't think Diet Go Go was a go go for people. No, no, it didn't really go over. <laughs> apparently, that's okay. And, Some uh, weeks go like that. We've had weeks like this before. Yeah. So yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's you it know, is. but it is. That, well, and who brought it in? You brought it in, and this is the saddest part of all. <laughs> you brought it in with the top high score of three five five, and I got second place with two nine nine, and. Yeah, the hosts. We did it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, Cosmic was grinding his monthly melee Dragon Warrior. We'll talk about that later for sure. But you got it. Yeah, yeah. you didn't want to play Diet yeah. Gogo. Diet Gogo was so similar to that other game. Um, Nightmare in the Dark, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. A lot of it, I mean, yeah, it was a lot of the, it felt a lot of the same. But it mm -hmm. was fun, but... I get that. No, and, and some weeks get really busy with games too. Because I know you were, like Knocker, you were really into Mega Man and getting that that badged and Metal Gear Solid. So you had a you had a full plate on your own too. So yeah, totally yeah. get it. No, we had um literally it was myself and Cosmic Mercenary and Foxy were the only three people that yep. participated last week. Uh, Sonic. Yep. 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 Yeah. That happens some weeks, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully more will want to play the next game. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll see what that game is. We know it's not going to be an arcade game, and nope. it's not going to be a arcade-style game. We, we we know, like, there are NES-style games that are similar to that. Yes, yeah, like a We've, puzzle platformer. Any form of, like, Bubble Bobble or One Screen, get all the... The points. Snow Brothers would be one that we can't yeah. do. Even though we, we can't do Snow Brothers anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look over at our picker wheel, which All is right. Mass Ev. And let's see what our games for this week will the game. be. Big, big wheel, as always. It actually does look like a big giant pizza. It does look like a big pizza. I agree. <laughs> oh, I gotta get my. My makes me hungry. Got to get myself set up here for you guys. T Turtles in time. M N T four. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a spot you can kind of farm if you're lucky enough, but I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens with that one. If All right. It ends up. Well, you get to veto one today, Foxy. So we'll see I which do. one you get rid of. All right. Well, Turtles in time is one. Clax, whatever. Oh my god, how long? This is this is the third time I think it's landed. Yeah, for Clax, whatever. Yep, and I think we do the NES version whenever we've pulled it up. Yeah, I'm yep. pretty sure I, we've done NES. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking the NES, if any. Yeah, I'm hoping that that one wins. I would like that one to win. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, just because it's been on there. Yeah. yeah, it's been up there so many times. It would just be nice. Virtual pinball. pinball. Oh my gosh, a virtual pinball. Wow. Wow. Good job, Slippy. And then finally... <laughs> what is our last one? Rampage. Oh, that's in the arcade, oh, though. That's, our, that's arcade style. We can't do that one. Yeah. Nope. No arcade platform. Nope. Sorry, Rampage. Did not have that. Even though that would have been really cool too. Yeah. Yoshi. Yoshi. Oh my god. I haven't I haven't heard Yoshi in a long time. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these games unless you know what you want to get rid of. <laughs> I already know what I want to get rid of. Okay, what are you getting rid of? Class? Yoshi. Oh, you get no, rid of Yoshi. Yoshi. Okay. I'm not a Yoshi person. Goodbye, Yoshi. <laughs> It's like one of my least favorite games. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man! And watching Megatron play it again, like for his NES challenge, just made just reassured my whole like, this is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Yoshi's Cookie isn't that, isn't that bad. If Yoshi's Cookie was there, I'd probably keep that one up there. But 
Well, Good. here we have Turtles in Time, which uh, might be one of the most popular Turtles beat em ups made. Yep. You go in it with default, and it's just get, get the most points you can. Now, as you notice, you can throw the characters at the screen. You actually get the most points for throwing the soldiers at the screen. So if they, you they, know how to do they that. Count for, they count for three points apiece. Yep. Uh -huh. When they are, when they got, when they hold their stomachs, like they're stunned or whatever, you press towards them and you press the attack button and you'll, he'll grab them and throw them at the screen. So. So that's how that works. Then we're going to yeah. look at clacks <laughs> on the NES. No, not a hard mode. You only play on, uh, the default setting, the normal mode. Clax is such a weird game. Yeah, Clax is a, is a, definitely a different game. I mean, a different puzzle game. It works, though. So your goal is to stack three Clax by getting the same colors going. Yep. We've seen this a few times. We've always kind of dropped on on the NES version, even though it, there's like a I think there's a Genesis and a bunch of other versions too. So yeah, we can finally finally tell Ken we finally played Clax on whatever. That's right. He's our only whatever, so that that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> and so as you can see, you have the tiles that fall. You drop them down. You can slide if them. You and guys move vote them. for it. Yep. Yeah, and that's Clax. Kind of a neat little game. You can stack your tiles. It's a, it's a very cool little game. Oh, yeah. And then finally, Virtual Pinball. All right, another pinball game, guys. We haven't played a pinball game in, in a while, so let, which one are we getting? Virtual <laughs> Pinball. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. Usually oh, has I... two-sided tables. Uh-huh. I remember this one. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm going to say with that. Woohoo! Virtual pinball. Yeah. Knocker knows who he's voting for. Oh, yeah. I think I think a few of us have things kind of cemented. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what happens. Now, remember, you only get one credit, so that is however many right. lives you get. And we are going to go ahead and put the poll up. All right. Here you guys go. And Put up your votes right now, guys. Turtles in Time jumps out. Virtual Big. Pinball ties it Good up, virtual though. Virtual Pinball. Nice. Yeah. And Clax comes in, giving it a three for one ratio. Going three yeah. three-way tie. Wow. I'm actually shocked. I thought it would be unanimous with one of them, but hey. Ooh, oh, looks Microsoft. like all we got is... Come on, guys, get your votes in. We got a few, a little bit of time left. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and while you guys are voting to decide which game you want, we'll go take a look at the monthly melee. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's see what our games are for this month, where you can choose one or two of the games and get one or two points based on how many you eat. You know, that's how it works. So you could choose up to two games to get up to two extra points for these challenges presented to you. Sailor Moon on the Game Gear. Screenshot the Sailor Salute by beating the game with Usagi. How long should this game take to beat, do you think? I don't think it would. I don't know. I would, I would think maybe like a 20 minute to okay. half hour game. I think. Not bad. From, from, we've played it before in the past. I don't think it would take that long. Mm -hmm. but, now... Just the other day, uh, mm -hmm. Cosmic posted the first one to take the Dragon Warrior NES screenshot, Dost Thou Love Me? So it took him uh, a few hours to get that. Yeah, it takes less time than saving the princess in the dungeon. That's for in Dragon Warrior, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in Dragon Quest slash Dragon Warrior 1 screenshot, that thou, does that love thou love me? But thou must. Kid Icarus in the Game Boy beat the Minotaur in stage 1-4. It's pretty easy to get there. Beating him is yeah. another story, as Foxy showed us. I showed on the breakfast stream. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a request of mine. Mm -hmm. And I got I got to that Minotaur very, very fast. Yes. But 
as you could as for those who saw because i didn't stay and get power-ups it was a lot tougher to fight mm -hmm. that minotaur so you want to go back you want to do some of the extra doors get some of those bonuses so you can handle that minotaur a little better but it, it doesn't take that long to get to the minotaur so. no not at all good and luck then... In Popeye on the Atari 5200, we want to see you get to level three. That one is, uh, that one's pretty tough. So, easiest one might be the Game Gear. Maybe Kid Icarus. Then some Popeye and some Dragon Warrior. But, yeah. uh, yeah, they're all very doable. Yeah, I don't think the Dragon Warrior one, the Dragon Warrior one, if you are very patient, you'll be, you'll be just fine with it. And... We got a winner with Turtles in Time. Yeah. Barely. Yeah, at three to two to one. Clax, Clax almost came in there. I didn't even vote. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you have voted for? I would have voted for Clax. Okay. Well, it would have been a, it would have been a heads or tails. But, you yeah. Know, I messed up. That's okay. You got talking about the monthly melee, and that's a good thing. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and post the, uh, I'll go ahead and post the, the games and scan lines. Um, Turtles oh. 4, Turtles in Time on the SNES. Yep, I'll go ahead and load my copy up. Now, yep, we have to play on hard, not hard mode, normal mode, guys. But if you guys want to change it to the comic look, so like the comic book type look for them, mm -hmm. feel free. That doesn't change the actual settings, so... There is no advantage to changing the the graphics in that yeah. sense. Yeah. Everything else is default. Yes. All, All right. right. And let me switch over here. Back to the and... Challengers Arena and bring us up. And you will see, starting with Foxy's game, I am just updating the paperwork. And then I'll put my game on it also. All right. I see you shared it. Can you change controls at least? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I think you, I think changing controls is fine. Yeah, you, you just have to add be on any more. You can't change the lives. You can't change anything else. Yeah. Oops, I keep going to versus. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Are you kidding me? I can't get to the, I can't get to the options worth anything right now. <laughs> There we go. Finally, the options. So yes, normal ha has to be. You can change the type to whatever you want. You can the um, the player dash. You can make that manual or auto. Either way, the only thing you can't change is the normal, and you can't change the rest. These yeah. are the yeah level and rest have to stay what they are. Everything else can be changed. So, all right. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go comic book style. Do, 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 do. Yep. yep. Normal rest three. That's that's the, the default. Kawabunga. And let's see if we're going for numbers. Got yeah, some Mikey here. So I don't know any of the tricks and stuff that that Foxy's going to be doing. So you should probably watch his screen, which is the purple one. To... Yeah, Mikey is Mikey's probably my favorite character in this one. Yeah, so if you were, what's going on. If you talk to Mame, Mame's all about the Raf. He likes Raf because Raf is fast. I like Mikey because he's pretty much just overall average. I know. Just overall good at everything. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I messed up. That's okay. It is okay. You to vote to my vote was the difference. That's okay. You're fine. I voted Clax. <laughs> ah. I'm okay with, with, with Turtles in Time also. It's because I like the game a lot. But, yeah, my, my, my thinking was... Alright, so far I'm only figuring out how to... Uh... 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Trying to get this those is a throws. really good game. Oops. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I've been I've been playing so much of um, retro game challenge on the DS, like a bunch of mini games that kind of emulate how gaming was back in the 80s and 90s, like early 90s. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, just kind of working on on some of those games. Some of those chivos are pretty tough. Yeah. What's the hardest yeah. one so far? So far, well, the most annoying one is I have to beat this game called Hegelman 2. It's a ninja game, but I have to beat it without continuing, and they get a little relentless, a little tough. Yeah, yeah you got to stop bad Hegelman. Dark Hegelman or whatever, Darky, yeah. yeah. And then Shin Gensei is like the main bad guy or whatever. He's like this weird old man, and I don't know why he's the final guy. Oh no, I'm about to die already. Alright, we're doing good here. Oops, I totally missed. There we go. Pizza. Moved me to the phone. Moved us to the phone. Okay. All right, more pizza. Yeah, I played some interesting games yesterday with between Stuart Little. I never got to play. <laughs> I had a, a couple games I was going to play on my own. But I never got to them because everybody else gave some, you know, yeah, good requests. So, what I'll were your get, games? Get, huh? What were your games that you wanted to play? Well, I was going to play some Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout because it was a rental of mine. Yeah, that was a great I, one. I, I, I used to rent all the time. Because the rental place nearby place didn't have a lot of game choices. But, um... I was actually going to play, uh... Oh! I don't know. I was thinking of, of just popping in a little bit of Mega Man 4 for the heck of it. Or... Uh. Well, that, that was also one of my first rentals. Well, or even, like, Yonoid. Nice. I, I haven't played Yonoid on, uh... Saturdays in a while. So. Yeah. I don't think I've ever, actually, thinking back, I don't think I've ever played it. Ooh. Oops, I missed up. I was just used my special, and then grab the pizza. That's okay. How you doing? I uh, I just beat Baxter. Nice. There we go. The return of X5. The return of X5. That's what Knocker says. Oh boy. So yeah, all you gotta do is submit your score by taking a screenshot of it. We'll let you know. We'll find out here pretty soon, eventually, if it... How you have to save your score when yep. you lose it. If it gives you a Wait, scoreboard basically, or what. Basically, before your, your character, when you run out of lives, they'll go, Oh, Shell Shock! And you have to pretty much take a picture right before then. Oh, okay. Oh no! Okay, let's see if I can get over and get a life. There we go. A pizza. Probably should have just died. That's okay. Whoops. Oh, I just had my first death. And I'm not doing that good here. 
I just died to the the drill guys, the the mousers. You want to see Foxy? You want to see me do the minimalist on X5? You're crazy. Oh, I'm that being would... put in the mixer. Huh? I'm in the blender. You're in the blender? Yeah, two guys on each side of me just working me. <laughs> Whoops. You guys might see a full game today. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, you're going to beat it on 1cc? I might. It's normal mode. Uh... Knocker could do it. I know Knocker could do it pretty easily. That's impressive. Yeah. Considering I'm losing it here at the second level. The toughest part is going to be like there's one level where you go back in time because it is turtles in time. You know, you have to travel through time. Sure. So. All right. Whoops. On to Metalhead. That should be too bad. See if it's on normal. Yeah. Gave like six six the other day, so that. Oh, it is. It's creeping on closer here. Yeah. Yeah. Lexi has to play Mega Man X six. That's gonna be crazy. We'll have to wait and see with that one. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, Metalhead's getting taken to. The... Yeah, you're going down, Metal Man. Metalhead? Nice. Yeah. Just took on the next boss. You say X5 is a harder set, but X6? Okay. I'll have to wait and see. Let's kick shout. Now you to go to the bonus game, Sewer Surfing. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Watch me die. The bonus game. I've already taken a huge chunk of damage. Let's try to not. Oh. So oh, what no. tips do you guys have to help those of us that can't one CC the game do better? What's the? Um. Yeah. What's? How do you do it? When you hit them once, they they do like this stun. Uh, pose or whatever. Yeah. If you go up to them and you just hit the attack button, you slam the enemy back and forth. It, it it'll help you clear the screen a little bit so that if there's enemies surrounding you, you can get rid of them. All right. Big recommendation for to use that one. Yep, I just died. Sewer surfing. No, I'm dead. Whoa, no! How did, how did I survive that? Wow. I still... I don't know how I survived this attack, but okay. <laughs> if Knocker watched that at all, holy crap. I don't know Knocker what happened Knocker says there. to grab the pizzas at the boss at the end to get a few yep. extra points. Yep. If you leave the pizza there... Yeah, fight him, fight him as best you can. If you get down really low, then use the pizza, but... Mm -hmm. If you can use that pizza... Um, Yeah, to get, to get wait till the end. Get, 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 the big, yeah, get the big full points for it. You get like an extra 10, 15 points. Pretty nice. Still, yeah. Whoops. That's a good tip, too. Yeah. Oh, 
Oops. Trying to fight the Rat King now. Nice. It's kind of a pain with those missiles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he just killed me. Oh, okay, so it gives you plenty of time when you die for your yep. health to get your... Yeah, it puts you up there, yeah. Yeah, because it gives you your, your screenshots and everything. Okay. Yep. Plenty of time. Yep. There we go. I got 225. He's already at 412. <laughs> Played this a lot. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. One more go. I'm gonna go Leo. Sounds good. Yeah, Mikey is definitely my favorite to go. Oops. Should have set it to manual dashing. I have it on auto dashing, I think. Auto dashing's fine. Right now I've got it set to auto dashing. I don't I don't mind either way. I'm s so, I slowly got used to uh, manual do playing um Bit of hyperstone heist, so that one I think I don't know if that's automatically manual, I just I got used to it on manual. Uh no, no. as many points as I wanted. Boss time! Shredder! Final boss? No, it's not the final boss. Right. That'd be interesting, though. I mean, if you're gonna beat the game, that's incredible. It's a long game. It's a pretty long game. We got a lot of show to go left. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be incredible. Yeah. Don't forget, we got a monthly melee, guys! <laughs> right. Now here, at where I'm at right now, you could kind of farm enemies if you want. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit and farm. By not throwing them at the screen. Yep, you just kind of kill them, and you, as long as you avoid the shots and everything and stay alive, yeah. Pretty clever. Yep, there's a couple places you can do that. There's another place near the end of the game you can do that too. Got some interestingness to it. Oh man. Yeah, this week I'm gonna be I'm hoping to start up some uh Super Castlevania 4. Nice. But not till Thursday. Yeah, you gotta be Goemon first on Wednesday. <laughs> oh no no, uh it's actually gonna be a week from this Wednesday. Oh, a week from Wednesday. Yep. It's on the twenty first, so yes, th yeah. This this Wednesday is Valentine's Day, and oh, as much as I as much as I love going on, um, I don't want to fall, I don't want the theme stream to fall on uh, <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. So I might be taking the day off. Oh yeah, maybe. Who knows? Not me. <laughs> Thank you everybody for spending your night with us. Yeah. As opposed to the the most magical of bowls. Oh, it is it is Super Bowl Sunday. I forgot about yeah. that. The Taylor Swift versus the 49ers. Was it Reba and Usher supposed to be there? I don't know. I just know it's Taylor Swift. We were like 
All right, combined. What are what are they called? <laughs> rubbish. Rusher. Uh, I, I I would say rubbish. 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 I can see that. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm taking a lot of hits here. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Man, look at your score. My score? Nah. Yeah, look at your score. Who's got plans for Valentine's Day out there in Stream World? I do not. I I don't know. I don't I don't have any plans. Gracie and I don't tend to do anything for Valentine's Day. We look at that as a young couple's sport. <laughs> sport. Yeah, but if it's Valentine's Day is on Wednesday, we're going bowling. That's our bowling oh, night. It is a Wednesday, yes. Yeah. I'll probably... Oh, I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing that day. Oh, no. I'm, uh, Adam and I are starting a new Goemon video. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, we just, we just posted our... Last video, we, we played a Game Boy game that was released oh. here in the States, and it's not that good. Yeah, I remember but, you saying. But it, it, it's a fun video to watch, though, because it's, it's fun to watch us in pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have saved my thing. Now we're good. Probably play some more Flink and Metal Gear this week. Nice. Nice. I haven't seen him in a long time, but my buddy Retro Drew, he was playing some Metal Gear Solid, streaming it for a while. Nice. Oops. No! No! This boss is the worst. This this is like this could make or break the whole run. Yeah. Oh yeah. slash. Yep. Yeah. Ow. Oh shell shock. There we go. Meow. Kind of a good idea. I died once, but not bad. It, it allowed me to fill up my health so I got a b bigger bonus at the end of the fight. So, not I bad. mean, not to mention you have four extra lives. <laughs> yeah, well, every two hundred you get a, a uh... life. So the guys, that's why you get in those twos and those threes. Yeah, when you when you slam them back and forth, that's worth two points. But if you throw them at the screen, that's three points. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna play some more Jade Cocoon and pray that a new creature finally shows up. Nice. I've been playing that game. I realized I've been playing that game for a month and a half now. Right. And I, I've been I've been devoted to it. People are like, oh, aren't you going to finish up Jade Cocoon? I have been devoted to that game <laughs> every single day, guys. <laughs> I have played a little bit every day, whether what? it be an hour, sometimes a half hour, because it's all I got, you know. You have two I've been... monsters left to find, I think you said, right? Three. Oh, three, three left. Yep, I just found one finally. Like I went like two and a half weeks <laughs> with nothing, and then finally one showed up the other day. So, mm. yeah, got some advice from people, and even then, that advice didn't really help me out too much. <laughs> it's gonna be like I remember watching Frank playing a game one time where he had to get an RNG item from. 
uh, a drop and uh, oh, it took him from quite a, a long time. Tails games. Yeah. Played a Tails game for a long time that involved that. He played a PS2 game called Shadow Hearts. Yeah. That involved that too. Yeah. Ah. Dang it. <laughs> These guys are, will not die. Are you kidding? They, woo. Oh. All right. Did better on the bonus stage. That's good. Nice. Oh yeah. Wow, Foxy's at seven thirty-three. Well, thank you, Sonic. It's the place we'll we like to be. <laughs> Sparky posted a score of 362. Nice. Sparky posting the score. Hope you had a good weekend, Sparky, if you're there. Uh-oh. I messed up. I'm stuck at a corner. Sparky Vankman, he just posted oh, no. a score in the... Uh... Oh, or is it Sonic? Sorry, is that Sonic posted it, not Sparky? The names are trunicated because I'm streaming, so all I see is the S. No, I'm just gonna get as much health as I can for this. I think fight. it's Sonic score. Oh, okay. Sonic score 362. I lost like two or three lives there, but I was trying to get stay near full health. Yeah. Get some bonus points. 750, guys, so far. Yeah, 750. Man, I'm at 228. Woohoo! <sighs> Bury my shell at wounded knee. Bury my shell at wounded knee. Favorite level in the game. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Music, everything. Love, love the theme, love it all. Hey! <laughs> Oh no, mousers. Mousers hurt. I mean they 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 take out a health here and there. Yeah. First time in ages you played TMT4. It's a great game. It's a really good game. Yeah, Ichigo was gonna give me Mortal Kombat for the uh, SNES yesterday. Yeah. But instead, he gave me Shaolin Monks for my birthday. It was fun to play that one. I want to get farther in that. Do you really? I do. Wow. I, but, I, but I would love to play it like with with somebody in co-op. It'd be a lot more fun. Yeah. Can't get this red ninja. Is he blocking a lot? Yeah. That one you have to kind of run into and do like a dash into his body. Oh. That's your best way to fight that. Oh no. You're trapping me in a corner. Wow, guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Your save points? Huh? Sonic says if you do a playthrough, best to use the save points. Wait, for which game? Uh. Oh, for Sheldon Monk. Yeah. I was thinking for this game at first, I'm like, wait, what oh, are we talking yeah. about? Yeah, so I was like, I don't know. No! 
Oh, I'm doing so good there. <laughs> I knew there was, there was a pizza coming up right here. Dang. Oh, well. Oh, you're playing Toka and Razor. Yeah. Nice. Once, once you take out Razor, he turns into a little pup. Try hitting him a few times. He'll, he'll, he'll like start whelping it. Like, oh, it's messed up. It is pretty messed up, but it's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, he got me. He's tough. Are both of them the the slash attack that they have is really annoying. Yeah, screw you, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yep, Shadow Monks is a good time. Um, and where are the other games I played? Let's see. <laughs> I played Wizard of Oz, which made little sense to me. Right. <laughs> Oz the Great and Terrible. Oh, that was kind of funny to give it a go. I would have. I, I loved playing Double Dragon, but the the yeah, wall of randomness got me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot we're in the future now. Oh um, yeah. I mean, I reached the year two thousand and twenty. Ooh. That's where remember we're all four, flying. Remember four years ago when we had these hovercrafts that were like yeah. this? The yeah, but they took were... them off the market. They're... Yeah. Segways. Yeah, they did. They did. <laughs> They start, they start catching on fire. Yeah. Well, you know, alternate universe, uh, before we had the pandemic, you know, the pandemic kind of ruined this yes. universe. Yes, yes. That's, that's how I look at it. Good call. Yeah. What was the worst game you played yesterday, Foxy? Worst game I played yesterday? Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Um... question honestly i was not too big a fan of power ranger zeo on the snes because i i had just played f-zero like yeah to toji tojiko he uh gave me f-zero and it was really fun to play and then all of a sudden I went over to power ranger zeo and it was like a slower version of super mario kart i'm like what is going on here with some of the same levels even yeah, it had a little, it had literally ripped off Koopa Beach. So I would say probably that was my, my least favorite game I played. But only only because it was doomed from the start because I had played F-Zero right prior to it. And that game's amazing. I did not expect to do a full playthrough of this. I'm right? so sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That's okay. I mean, I'm I'm on my second attempt. Right? Isn't it great, Taxi? Hey, Taxi. This is our Challengers Arena game of the week. Yep. Whoever gets the most points at the end of the week. Yeah. Looks like it might be Foxy. Yeah, it could be Knocker. Knocker. Knocker's really good at this too. I, I've missed a lot of really simple cues too, so it's possible. Just got ran over. Yeah. Yeah, they included it in Shredder's Revenge, yeah. Oh yeah, Shredder's Revenge. Oh fantastic game guys. I haven't played that in a long time. With the the added on thing that they did for that, which is like a like Dimension X thing. That was so much fun. It'd be cool if we get if it got more characters though. 
Karai was Karai and Usagi Ojimbo both were really good characters. Yeah, those they were cool. I was surprised with Usagi. I didn't care for him at first, and then I started playing him. I'm like, oh, I could do damage in this in the air, and they can't hurt me that all. This is yeah. this is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Saki Yojimbo. You've defeated Krang. Yep. I can show another spot where you can farm. I'm not going to farm. Because <laughs> we don't have all night. <laughs> but hey, the more we we play this, the... Um... The less flinking. <laughs> the less flinking. <laughs> it shows their advantage that they kept the classic look of the turtle. Yeah, me too. And the fact that you can actually get skins, you could change your skin. Like later on, they added um, with the Dimension X thing, you can um, unlock skins that make your character look like the Team and T two characters, the Team and T three characters. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you get like the, like the glows and stuff. Like it looks like like the NES era glow and things like that too. That's cool. It's really cool. I was just happy that. When um, Karai came out, um, she, you could actually one of her skins was the skin she had in tur tournament uh, tournament fighters. Mm. She was the final boss in, in Team of Two tournament fighters. Uh. So anytime I could play as her, that was the skin I used. Nice. Tourney fighters is one of my favorite fighting games, guys. It's I don't know. It's it, something about it just felt good. Yeah. Easy to easy to pick up and play. Easy for you know for any of the characters plays any of the characters really. It's 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 a good, good game. Good fighting game. So <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. I'm concentrated on the soldiers that I'm fighting too, and it's like ah, yeah. I'm trying to. I want to talk about tournament fighters because I love that game so much. Well, Texi says some of the challenges in it are tough, especially the ones in which you have to do entire levels without taking a knock or a hit. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, I mean, that's a lot of the things well, these guys do on retro achievements, though, is yeah. beating it, it, games without taking hits. It gets really hard. Mm -hmm. Whoops, dang. I was gonna get hit by that. Oh, oh well. And there's gonna be a pizza right over here. Oh, pretty soon. Yeah, I, I really, yeah, I don't know, Shredder's Revenge, fantastic game. I had it on Steam and Switch, just so I could play with certain people, but then, did they ever, no, they didn't cross over between the two. Yeah, they no, there's over no cross Xbox, Xbox, Xbox and PC did. Yeah. Yeah, I have it on, on Xbox and on uh, PC, on Steam. Nice. You gonna miss the pizza? Let's grab the pizza. Nice. Is this the final oh. level? This is the second final level. Not bad. Yep, yeah, final level is actually just one big boss fight. Ah. Uh. So. Bowling balls coming at you. Yep. Wait for the stone soldiers. There they are. Ah. Uh. Can't grab them. Can't throw them at the screen. You could throw them, but you can't do like any of the, the cool tricks you can do with the soldiers. Uh, or they put soldiers. There we go. Um, so what are you guys up to this week? <laughs> what, are, what are your... What are your goals and your dreams for this week? <laughs> I'm hoping somebody can beat your score in uh, in Turtles in time. I'm sure Knocker could. As, as we watch a complete playthrough. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. But you guys wouldn't want me not to do my best. I mean, who knows? Rich Ambler could always come in as the nester and tear oh, everybody true. up. It's true, the nester. I saw him a little bit yesterday. Yeah. Ooh.
Yeah, he might always come in and, and tear everyone up. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, grab. And boss time. No, not never mind. So oh, that's first. okay. I mean, I guess if you got the time, you can do it, right? Yeah, I mean, if you got the time, get that 9999. Go for it. Yeah. If you got the time, get that 9999. Nice. Is th I've never seen that before. I've never seen a 9999. It'd be kind of interesting, to be yeah. honest. How long would that take? I have no idea. Oh, Mikey got bubbled. Yep. Yeah. For this oh For this boss he um starts dropping little creatures for you to fight, and those are the creatures you can kind of farm over and over again. Uh it takes a long while though. So if anybody wants to do it, feel free, but it, it it's gonna take like if if Nestor starts to do it or tries to do it, it's probably gonna take him an all, like the entire day to get to that wow. time. Yeah. Yeah. There they he are. Drops three. He drops three and he doesn't show up again until you beat them all, uh, or at least all but one, at least. Oh, he pushed me right into the. Yeah, the he got flattened. All right, you got it. Yeah, we're I just good. started learning the rules for Resident Evil, the board game. We fully suss those out. Those are always cool. I I play a lot of those kind of uh, board games, Dark Souls. I didn't know there was. And, a... Yeah, there. There... Yeah. The Resident Evil one. Interesting. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty big game. It's very cool. There's a G.I. Joe deck building game I was playing that took me a long time just to get through the tutorial missions. They can be no! very hard, Texy, to, to understand how those games work. But then once you get them, you tend to understand them. You know, once, once you know it, it's very playable. Usually they have a very long setup time. Yeah. I got this one game. Batman The Dark Knight Returns that is a gigantic one player game and it just the setup takes like an hour hour and a half really yeah. there's a Metal Gear Solid board game too wow yeah you can find it for most anything there's a lot of them and the shredder Yep, Super Shredder. Oops. Over a thousand score he's putting up. Yep. One of the Chivos is you have to get over a thousand points. Wow. So. Or was it... Knock, was it 1,200 or a thousand? I forgot. I think it's, I think it's a thousand. Gotta watch out for the green attack. The green attack will kill you instantly. Why am I not diving at him? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's what it was. So, yeah, 1,000 on easy wow. or normal, then 700 on hard. Final score, 1,012. Wow, 1,112. Sorry, 1,112. Wow. All right. Well, you all saw it here first. <laughs> Sorry, that took so long, A guys. A complete playthrough <laughs> of the game for the Challengers Arena this week. That was amazing. Thank you. That was something else. Yeah.
Oh, well, now no spoilers. Well, the thing is, you don't get to see the full ending until you see. Oh, here we go. You know what? We'll take, we'll take a picture here. I think that's perfect. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Thanks, Raph. I may never have the hiccups again. <laughs> All right. Well. Very good. Are we doing? Are we ready to move on to our? We are. We'll go right into <laughs> it. Do you want to play Flink tonight, or am I playing Flink tonight? Uh, feel free to play Flink tonight. Or you know what? I'll play Flink tonight. All right. We are gonna head right on over to the reviewers roundtable. Yep. No commercials. We'll go right into it. Do, 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 do. Give me one sec as I sure. load this up. Take your time while I read about how Flink, made by Psygnosis, Cy, uh, Psygnosis released by Vic Takai. Vic Takai? Yeah, in 1994. Um, it was available on the Mega Drive in Europe, but the Mega CD version made its way to North America finally really? um yeah and it's just as well because the best version of the game is the mega cd version it's it's not the best by a long shot though the game is english indistinguishable between the cd and the genesis version the cd version doesn't benefit from any extra stages fmv cinematics or anything extra the only difference is that you get cd sound why is my Sega CD not working here? Give me one sec, guys. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. The only extra thing of this that Flink came out with on the Sega CD was that they also had a Spanish and Dutch language translations. It does have some oh. nice music. Um, All right. Um, so, guys, welcome to the Reviewers Roundtable. <laughs> <laughs> this is our video game book club. If you played Flink this week, feel free to drop a review of some sort. Um, <laughs> we rate everything on a five-star scale, five being the best game you've ever played, zero being the worst game you've ever played, um, or one of the worst games you've ever played. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, feel free to drop a review into the text chat here. And if you don't, if you haven't played it this week and you want to see what it's like, we will play for a bit. And if you think you can give it a good review or a review at that point, feel free also. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, Psygnosis published some great games, says Taxi. Blood Money and Lemmings are two of them. Is Blood Money the Hitman game? Uh, I think it's the Hitman game, yeah. Yeah, Hitman 2, Blood Money. Okay, give me one sec again. No problem. I uh, try to get my sound to work again. That sound working. Yeah, Flink is an interesting game. I think it looks very good. It it sounds pretty good. But uh There we go. Not that blood money? Okay. <laughs> oh no, different game. Okay, not that blood money. Okay. Psychosis. Sounds wonderful. So when I first saw that, I always thought it was like this the the you know the wizard from Strider, the <laughs> Yeah. A little bit like that with a crown. This beautiful, beautiful intro. Oh, 1989. That's pretty old. Oh, okay. How's that sound? Is that too loud for you guys? We good? Uh, no, okay. it's good. It's good. All right, cool. You can adjust it accordingly. Cosmic has what? posted a score of one thousand one hundred thirty-four. How much? One thousand one hundred and thirty-four. <laughs> you beat me! <laughs> wow. Very nice, Cosmic. Nice job, Cosmic. So, Flink, an interesting little game here. It's 
part Mario Sonic inspired action platformer, part spellcaster. Yep. Um, very weird little game. Looks incredible. Indeed. That was just data collection. I understand. <laughs> you can pick up almost anything by ducking down and pressing A next to it. No, not that guy. Oh, wow. You guys were neck and neck until Shredder. Oh, nice. We're digging the bosses at the same time you beat me to Shredder, though. Okay. Well, very nice. Um, I'm gonna be... Nice job. Really? Thanks. Now, I'm you have to pick up all your reagents to be able to cast <laughs> your spells, and you'll yes. find different spells along the way um, that tell you you need to use which items in which specific order to use those spells. Your magic is also your health, which is interesting. It's very much like Sonic in that way. Every time you kill an enemy, you get what equates to a ring. Um, yeah. And it's it's in the form of magic. And as it starts to fill up your health, every time you get hit, you lose all your magic, but it's all recollectible um, if you're quick enough. It's a little confusing. And there's a I lot of that. mechanics in it. I was hoping the guy would show up again right there so I can get that, but you know what? That's okay. Blood Money is a shoot 'em up. Oops. Oh. Yeah, the controls are a little touchy, but it's not too bad. Oh. That's interesting, Taxi. I didn't know that. Yeah, the controls are very touchy. I found it to be. Um, I had to play through it, and when I say play through it, I mean play through the first few levels quite a few times to realize all the different little things you can do, like picking up and throwing chests, picking up and throwing enemies. Um, you just hold the jump button down on the springs in order to enable them. Um, and all the little kind of nuances of what make the game what it is. But it, when you get to the actual real platforming where you're having to dodge while climbing vines and whatnot, it, it gets pretty challenging. I love the way this game looks. Yeah, it I looks it great. Looks really good. And this was on Sega CD. I mean, it's it plays smoothly. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. I... I Honestly, I'm kind of shocked that it is on Sega CD. Yeah, originally a Genesis game in Europe. Yeah. But from the little I, I'm playing and the little I've, I've played and seen of this game, it's an interesting platformer. I'm not... Mm -hmm. Like, I like the... Like, how he reacts to different things. And, oh, dang. I gotta get used to that. <laughs> I, get used to the, I, get, I gotta get used to the jumps in this game, but... Oh, that. <laughs> that one extra step up there. There we go, that makes sense. But overall, feels good. I don't know. I I, I can't complain with the, the controls at all. I think it controls just fine. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see a little bit of where I'm supposed to go as far as like some of the the trees and the platforms to go on, but the fact that you could fall to your death pretty easily, too. Woo! Now, this game finished. was actually released on the Amiga CD, also. Um, although it was never released for the Mega CD32, which the Sega CD is built off of, apparently. Hang on, ropes. Whee. Already finished games on High Score Challenge. Say we already did. Did we already do Turtles in Time? No way. Ooh. Did I just do a full thing of Turtles in Time? We've already done it? That's possible. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Are 
Are we revisiting it this week? Is that what we're doing? We we might. We might. We'll, we'll Let's call see. It, we'll call it a revisit week. <laughs> Uh, no, we did it in the arcade version. We haven't oh, done the yeah. Super Nintendo version. Oh, yeah, I remember the arcade version, yes. Okay, so... There are fundamental differences between the two also, so... Yeah. Now, Knocker okay. says of Flink, I would not say it's the greatest game, but it looks fantastic. Yeah. Has nice tunes, plays decent, and has some unique layouts for puzzle elements. I really like Magical Quest, so this one felt right at home for me. Looking forward. Say... Oh, sorry. Oh, no I was problem. I going to say, if you like Magical Quest, you'll like this a lot. And I, I like Magical Quest a lot. Yeah. So. Now, he says he's looking forward to getting all the way through this one. Gives it a four out of five. Okay. Slide down 45 degree hills by pressing down on the joypad. Slide to tackle enemies. Okay. So. It's only on those like green the, hills. Yeah, those green hills, yeah. Which, I mean, there's your Sonic right there. You got green hills. Yeah. It's a green whole zone. zone. <laughs> I'm digging this. I'm digging. Oh my god. I like the music. You know. Okay, for those who've played it, this gives me a little bit of like a secret of mana feel for the music. Mm. Like second to set to three a little bit. I don't know. I get that secret of mana feel when I'm listening to this. I think overall the fact that it play it plays well, I'm not struggling too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling, you know, with a little bit of fundamentals here. Ooh, I can swim. Oh god, even better. Um, I'd say I'd, I'd give this game a solid three and a half right now. All right. I mean, and you always know, uh, and not just for Cosmic, but for everybody, the reason we play it here is so that you guys can get a feel for it. So feel free to judge it based on what you see, even though, because not every game we can all play. Yeah. You know, there's there's some games but that I, just don't work out for us. I could, I could use treasures and stuff like that. Yeah. Ooh, auto scroller. Now this I'm not looking forward to. Whoa, except the dragon's really cool. Yeah, and they track where you're standing when they appear. Oh, I see. The Cosmic there, says he there. would give it a 4.2 looking at it. Oh, no, Sonic, I didn't see that. Uh, 4.1. Okay. Ouch. Okay. I'm actually impressed with this part because I thought it's just an auto scroller, yay! But the fact that I have this, these giant serpents coming at me—they look good. Yeah, it makes I it know. makes it a little little difficult. It's pretty though. cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling here. I like that there's a limited amount of continues, so that that makes that encourages me to get better. Oops! Ah, you missed it. I miss it all the time. Nice. Cool game. For a platformer, I think it, it's kind of unique enough. Is that the right way to say it? It's, yeah. It's unique enough that, I mean, you got you got elements of Magical Quest, but you got like its own few things. For example, like the chest, like being able to open a chest and then use it as a weapon is pretty cool. Yeah. I like the, the varied uh, enemies also. You have everything from, you know, you have just normal townsfolk walking around that don't want you to bother them to the robbers who will steal items from you. Um, the spell system is very different and not something we're really even going to get into or see today. Um, in the time I put into the game, I never got enough reagents to, to be able to cast a single spell. Um, but I got to a point where it showed you where you would cast a spell. So, for example, you could cast the grow spell on a plant. And in pl casting the grow spell, it would grow it into a vine that you could climb. Um, 
so it has neat little puzzles like that. I can't use that at all. I love this. I don't know, something about this, it just it feels good. Going up like little things like that. Oh my god. Get up there. No! Do that. There we go. Uh, how much to get that? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. That happens. All right, let's start again. Take two. Woo! Woo! There, there we go. There you go. Oh, okay, that was cool. <laughs> Use the quick growth spell. You have to stand on that actual plant that you want to grow. Okay, makes sense. But I don't have the quick growth spell, or do I? Ooh, select spell. So you could read a spell. You might have it already. Yeah, there Aha, it is. Ah, crow. You need a feather, a leaf, and a silver ring. Okay, so we we don't have it. Unless we have to create a spell. Abracadabra. So you're missing the silver ring. ring. Okay, that is cool. No, 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 go go back. There you go. Well, you know how we get the silver ring, right? No. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought you knew. No. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you how to get it. Because I I think it's over here. Nice. <laughs> it's with no, all it's the hands. Not there. Yeah, oh yeah. Totally the hands and everything. Yeah, it's totally there. I mean, that is the way you're supposed to go, but... But you're supposed to have the grow thing first. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's something you come back to because you can come back to all the levels as you go. You can decide what level you want to go to. Yeah, I don't think, unless you can jump on the hands themselves. You can. When the hands open up, oh. you can jump onto them safely. When they oh, close, I thought they were trying to grab. I thought they were trying to kill me. They are. When they close, they're no, trying to grab you. Oh, it's all the way back here. Oh mm -hmm. man. Well, could use a little, few more save points here and there. Unless there was one and I totally missed it. So that's one of the only things I don't like about this game is that when you choose to continue from a level, it really puts you back. Okay, well, then I think I'm, I'm going to stick with my solid three and a half then for the game. All right. I think it's cool. I uh, could use a few more checkpoints here and there, but, you know, that's on my own incompetence and skill, you know, my own skill level that, you know. Well... You could actually bounce on them when they're oh cool yeah when they're closed yeah yeah probably probably not safe yeah yeah I bounced right off of them I just I love this part I don't know I don't like auto scrollers much but I like the serpents that try to attack it looks really good like the effect whatever looks really great pretty cool oh. As they take a hit. Oh, as a way to die. That's all right. You'll get it. <laughs> so, what are we sending at right you'll now? You'll get it. Well, I got to give my score. I'm doing a little bit of the bookkeeping behind the scenes first, yep. real quick. And I am going to give it a 3.7, I think. It's a very cool game. It, it's fun to play. It was a little frustrating and annoying. Um, but it was fun. He does... To me, he felt kind of slippery. I know you were saying you don't feel that. Yeah. Um, I felt a little bit of that. But I, I like the... I mean, it's got so much animation. And and it looks ah! really good. That you gotta... Yep. You gotta give it something for that, you know? And, uh, and I, I like the little things like how you have to slide down this hill to gain enough speed to be able to even ah, make that jump. Yep. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I love that. I love the so, animation yeah, on that. Really cool little things. Really cool little things here and there. Yeah, the, the, the momentum could be a little better. But yeah. other than that, I like it. I, I like this game. So unless anybody else has something for it, uh, we're sitting at a 3.9. There you go. Just got to be careful they don't close up on you. And you got to jump. And you helps do to have jump. to jump, yeah. Yeah, that's usually a helpful thing. 
All right, not a bad score. Yeah. Wait, what? Three. Oh, he jumped on that. Okay, I guess I didn't jump on that. Try one more time. Last time. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! See, you just gotta be quick about it. That's all. I love the whole grab a rock, throw it up here. Wait. Oh, I need to go grab another rock. Where are those rocks? So. Oh, okay. So you throw a rock up there like that. Oh, that's cool. But how are you going to get solving. up there? Huh? How are you going to get up there? Hey, get a life. What, what does that mean? I think it means that you died. I think it means I got. I died. Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's it. That's an all the way death. Hey, Chrono, welcome in. Welcome in, Flank. So yeah, we got a three point nine for this one. Not bad score. No, not at all. Let's go look over at the wheel and see what we got popping up over there. Sounds good. Have you played this game before, Chrono? Actually, uh, honestly, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's pretty good. Momentum kind of sucks a little bit, but eh, it's pretty good otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. That shit on a whim. Nice. Oh, nice. Zash says, on a whim. Well, we are looking at Super Spy for the Neo Geo. Dracula Unleashed on the Sega CD. X-Men 2 The Clone Wars on the Genesis. Sonic 3D Blast on the Genesis. Legendary Wings on the NES. Polestar on the Neo Geo CD. Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures on the Super Nintendo. Mr. Bones on the Saturn. Mutation Nation on the Neo Geo CD. And Rally Cross on the PS1. Wow. Yeah. You got a bad Cocoron. Cocoron? Uh, we played Cocoron before. I think we have played Cocoron. Yeah, yeah, it was for something. I don't know if it was, I don't think it was for review, but we played it around here at one point. No, it was for I, Reviewers Roundtable. It was on 7 4. Oh, yeah, it was before I was around. Yep, before I was around. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Baron, welcome Baron, in. Welcome. We are just doing our, our wheel spin for the reviewers round table. Yeah. Now let's and see if we're gonna add some Astro I, Boy. Yep, thanks Knocker for recommending Flink. It's pretty cool. Momentum's weird, but I like I like the game still. Yeah. It's beautiful to look at. It really is. And Knocker's Astro Boy a the TPA. Okay. Right. Hey Rev, welcome in. Welcome, Baron, well, Wolfie, and, and you're Rev, catching us hello. on the tail end here, but we are still happy to have you here at the Scanline Heroes. We hope you enjoy your stay yes. with us. Come to check out what we have going on in the rest of the week, as we are about to shuffle up and then spin this wheel three times. Well, spin the wheel once, but shuffle it yep. three times. Yep, we're ready to see what we're going to review this week. If you guys want to come back next week and review this... Oh, wait. We got a wheel space. Oh, we do. Calibri on the Saturn. Oh, wait. Is that the Hummingbird game? I think so. I think that's the Hummingbird game. Yeah. Oh, 32X. I was going to say, yeah. I remember the game. It's a 32X game. Okay. Sega on the 32X. Yep. All right. Hummingbird. Yeah. Cool. Nice. nice. Kaliba. Kaliba. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll be it not my cup of tea. Well, oh. Let's let's shuffle this thing up. If if does oh, anybody good. else have any uh anything else they want to add in while we're here? Yep. Feel free if you don't have a if you don't have a game on the list that you know of, feel free to drop one into the thing. Yeah. We're Got a lot of random. I'm looking at all the games right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got some interesting ones this this time. Oh my man! If we could land on Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones. Oh man, I've totally badged that game, and then Sark would hate me. 
<laughs> oh yeah, no. Mr. Bones. It's on my it's on my my request wheel. That's why I look at it. I'm like, oh, Mr. Bones. Yeah, we'll get it eventually. <laughs> Right now, the two big pieces, Mutation Nation and Sonic 3D Blast on the Genesis. I've been on there for so long, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and shuffle this up. Sounds and then good. we'll spin it. So let's give it a shuffle. All right. A shuffle. Yep, another a shuffle. A shuffle. Perfect. And let's spin this thing up and see what game we get. All right, what are we going to get? Let's go, let's go. It is. Oh, one of the big ones. One of the big ones. Mutation, Mutation Nation. Nation. Let's take a look on at this game. Can we get this game working? Let's bum, take a look. Bum, 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 bum. I got the Neo Geo. I mean, music stuck in my head. Mutation Nation. Yeah, it's been on there for a long time. Yeah, I don't know if I have this one. <laughs> I have to make sure I have it, too. Baron, if you have a working copy and you want to send it our way, let us know. Mutation will... Nation. Mutation Nation. Okay, let's see. Is this your game, Baron? Ah, oh, beautiful. I love that. That's the opening Neo Geo thing. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's okay. This is Mutation Nation. Why do I feel like we've we've seen this before? No, maybe you haven't. I don't know. Interesting. So it's a beat em up. It's not the one I was thinking it was. All right. All right, so this will be our game for this week. And give me one second, I'll load it into the Discord for everyone. Look at their oh, heads! Good. Oh no! Green Daffy Culty. Wait, there's a multiplayer subset for this? Whoa. Oh. Wake up, Neo Geo CD games. Oh no, the, the mutant's gonna get you! Or maybe uh... not. No, he, oh, no, he kicked you. He was tired of waiting. Can't kind of look like a red-haired Trunks. <laughs> Hold your fire! No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna. I'm not going there. <laughs> okay, the game is up and available for everybody right. to download. Sounds just, good. Uh, Sell it on the ZX Spectrum. Interesting. I mean, it, already I'm liking the look of it, but you know, I'll have to wait and see and try it out. Give the game a give the game a go. Yeah. Man, we are, we are going from our challengers arena this week. Our high score challenge uh, that we have for this is a beat 'em up. We're playing Turtles in Time, and then now we're we're reviewing a beat 'em up too. Man, it's beat 'em up central this week. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Play a bunch of beat 'em up games. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there fight you for your love. Look at this guy. Fight for your love. Wow. Love for pizza. Love for, um, I don't know what he's in love with. Mut mutants. Look at Go that. Oh, my ninja God. fighting now. Hey, they both got mutants in them. I just realized that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one's mutant, mutant Ninja Turtles. One's mutant something or other. We did it all for the fist of love. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Nice. The arcade game coming to Mister. Oh, nice. Love can even bloom on the battlefield. Yep. Especially you have to hold down the button to charge and stand still doing so. Okay. Well, you guys got a glimpse of how, what it's like so far. Yeah. So everybody, give it a whirl, and we will talk about this game next week. Yes. And how you like it or hate it. And it's okay to like or hate or love or like or not like. I don't yeah. know. Whatever you feel like with this game, come back next week and give us your opinion. This guy is all... Oh, he's like Kenshiro. Look at him go. Yeah. <laughs> with a kick. Yeah. That was dope. 
All right, who are we going to be raiding, everybody? Good question. Who do you guys want to raid? You know what? In fact, we were asked to have a guide the raid reward, so I'm going to make one real quick. Okay. Add a new custom reward. Guide. Uh, I don't think Sark has started his Skyrim run yet. Yeah, Sarconius tonight is playing um, Skyrim. But it's like an Uwu edition that was redeemed. And he's going to be talking in Uwu talk. <laughs> he is dreading it, but it's going to be beautiful to watch. We're all going to laugh. Yeah, it's so. going to be something, huh? <laughs> all right, give me one yep. second. Let me... Uh... Yep, someone saved up the one million points. And that's what's going on over there. So, yep. Uh... Uwu. Uwu. <laughs> God, no. Ah gonna be fun we're all gonna laugh at sarconius later yeah he's not on yet so say a 90s thing oh boy uh let's see 90s thing you cheated hey you cheated there you go. <laughs> Okay, so there is now a guide the raid that has been put up for 500 points. Uh, if you would like to guide the raid, feel free. Who oh, redeems the raid guide? Styles is on. Uh -oh, All right, wait, we have a wait. redemption. Okay, Zash. <laughs> is it? Is this... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually gonna, okay. I'm gonna look this up real quick. What you don't like Yoshi Story? Oh, are they playing Yoshi Story? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 You thought they would be <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I thought it would be. Okay. Game man approved. Nice. Well, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. We greatly appreciate each and every one of you. We look forward to seeing you right back here for our other shows on Scanline Heroes. Indeed. Yeah. We'll be back plenty of times throughout the week. Come mm -hmm. back next Sunday. Make sure to post your scores for Turtles in Time and come back with a review of, for Mutation Nation. So, yeah. I'm Foxy. And I'm Slippy. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> and, okay. <laughs>